Hello friends, in this lecture, we will discuss another short story, Wasp's Nest, written by Agatha Christie. First of all, we will discuss a little bit about the writer, and then we will discuss this short story in detail. So Agatha Christie, she is one of the famous British novelists, and uh, she is a detective novelist means she has written detective novels, detective short story. Now, what is detective uh, fiction? In this type of novel or short story, often a crime is committed, and that crime often involves a murder. And then a detective, who is also known as a spy, means another name for detective is spy. In Hindi, we call it chasus. So a detective, he tries to find out the real criminal. So that type of novel, that type of short story, or that type of literature is called detective novel. So she has written detective novels and short stories. She has created two world famous characters. One is Hercule Poirot, one is Hercule Poirot, and second is Miss Marple. So she has created two excellent characters. Her first novel had been the mysterious affair at Styles. Now we will discuss the short story Wasp's Nest. So it is a detective short story, but this is unusual show. This is unusual detective short story. Why? Because in most of other stories, a murder is committed, and then a detective tries to find out the real criminal or the real murderer. But what happens in this short story, that in this short story, the detective, the famous detective, Hercule Poirot, he tries to prevent the murder, means the murder has not been committed, the murder will be committed, and he tries to prevent the murder, he tries to stop the murder. So how does he stop that murder? How does he prevent that murder? So that is this story, Wasp's Nest. Now we will discuss the short story of in detail with, with the help of some characters. So first of all, we have the character John Harrison, who is a rich man. And then we have another character who is Hercule Poirot, who is a famous detective. And the next character is Claude Langton, who is John Harrison's friend. And at last, we have the fourth character, Miss Molly Dean, who is John Harrison's fiancée. So these are four characters in this short story. Actually, when this short story starts, it's evening time, it's August, and John Harrison, he's standing on, on his terrace. Now he's looking over his garden. Now all of a sudden, one person, he visits John Harrison. John Harrison is surprised to see that person there because John Harrison, he doesn't expect that person in his house or in this area. Now the name of that person is Hercule Poirot, Poirot who is a very famous detective. Now John Harrison, he asks Hercule Poirot about the purpose of his visit. And then Hercule Poirot, he informs John Harrison that he has come in this in this area in order to in uh, in order to investigate a murder. John Harrison he replies that uh, this is a quiet area and he hasn't heard a murder. So Hercule Poirot he tells John Harrison that murder has not been committed, but the murder will be committed or murder is going to be committed, and he has come here to stop that uh, murder. Now, John Harrison, he is surprised. Now, then Hercule Poirot, he, uh, he, his, his eyes, they fall on wasp's nest. And Hercule Poirot, he suggests John Harrison that he should destroy the wasp's nest. Otherwise, it can be dangerous also. Then John Harrison, he tells Hercule Poirot that today in the evening, his friend Claude Langton, he is coming to destroy the wasp nest. And he also informs 
then and then hercule poirot he asked john harrison how will he destroy the vast nest john harrison he informs hercule poirot that claude langton he will destroy the uh, nest with petrol with petrol and a syringe now hercule uh, poirot he he just uh, gives an indicate indication about a poison whose uh, name is cyanide of potassium hercule poirot he he ask john harrison is it true that claude langton he will destroy the nest with petrol and syringe not with a cyanide of potassium john harrison replies in the negative he says no claude langton he will not destroy the nest with the cyanide of potassium because it is a dangerous poison then hercule poirot he asked john harrison about his relationship with claude langton he asked john harrison whether claude langton likes him john harrison replies yes claude langton likes him then he asked jo john harrison whether he likes claude langton and john harrison replies that he also likes uh, claude langton then hercule poirot he gives another hint to john harrison that it may be possible that uh, claude langton he hates john harrison but john harrison he doesn't accept this fact he says that claude langton he is a, he is his good friend and he can't hate him then hercule poirot he makes john harrison remember that john harrison is engaged to miss molly dean john harrison replies yes he is engaged to miss molly dean then hercule poirot he tells john harrison that before uh, before her engagement to john harrison miss molly dean she had been claude langton's fiance but there was a quarrel between claude claude langton and miss molly dean and that's why miss molly dean she broke her engagement with claude langton and she decided to to be engaged with john harrison so it is possibility that claude langton he doesn't like john harrison and he may try to kill john harrison but john harrison again he doesn't accept this charge he says that claude langton he he can't even kill a fly he can't even kill a fly he is such a good friend then hercule poirot he tells john harrison that don't you think that today in the evening claude langton is coming to kill thousands of wasp how can you say that he can't kill a fly now he advises john harrison to be careful be, to be careful of claude langton why because he tells john harrison that by chance he visited a chemist shop and he wanted a type uh, a, some type of medicines and when he signed the register which contains the record of uh, poison poison which was uh, which 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 was sold by the shop so he found there the name of claude langton because claude langton he has purchased cyanide of potassium which is dangerous poisons and that's why hercule poirot he informs john harrison that claude langton he has purchased cyanide cyanide of potassium and john harrison replies no he will come here and he will destroy the nest with petrol and syringe hercule poirot he asks john harrison that when will claude langton come john harrison replies at 9 o'clock then hercule poirot he leaves john harrison and he 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 tells john harrison that he will come back at 9 o'clock now jo hercule poirot he consults the time and it is 
10 past 8 means it is 8 10 and then Hercule Poirot he leaves John Harrison now when Hercule Poirot he returns Hercule Poirot he returns uh, you can say that few minutes before nine o'clock before it strikes nine o'clock and when he returns so he finds Claude Langton at the gate at the entrance now Claude Langton also gets surprised to see his friend Hercule Poirot there now there is a high hello between them and Hercule Poirot he asks Claude Langton about John Harrison that where is John Harrison then Claude Langton he replies that John Harrison is on the terrace and Claude Langton he tells Hercule Poirot that sorry he will have to uh, leave because he is in hurry now Hercule Poirot he immediately rushes to the terrace and when he reaches the terrace he finds John Harrison sitting in a chair by the table now John Harrison he doesn't reply anything when when Hercule Poirot he, he 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 just reaches there then Hercule Poirot even asks John Harrison that how are you but again John Harrison he doesn't reply and after after some minute pause John Harrison John Harrison he he replies okay now I am okay now Hercule Poirot he asks John Harrison is he feeling any ill effect of washing soda on him now john harrison he gets surprised he is not able to understand that what hercule poirot is talking about now what happens that all of a sudden hercule poirot he he takes a, a sachet out of his uh, a pocket and in 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 one pocket there is a sachet and in another pocket there is a bottle and then he puts that sachet into that bottle and and he just uh, shakes it and then he carefully carefully uh, you can say that tightens uh, the cap and then hercule poirot he approaches the wasp nest and and he drops he he just powers some drops of that liquid on the wasp nest what happens that all the wasps they start coming out and they start dying and then hercule poirot he tells john harrison that uh, in his pocket there was cyanide of potassium and in this way Hercule Poirot he tells John Harrison he tells John Harrison the reality he tells John Harrison that John Harrison was making a plan to kill Claude Langton he tells John Harrison that he knows very well that John Harrison is suffering from a deadly disease and he is soon going to be died now john harrison he accepts the reality he accepts the reality that he will die within two months then hercule poirot he tells john harrison that john harrison was making a plan to commit suicide by consuming cyanide of potassium and he wanted he wanted that he wanted that claude langton should be arrested for his murder and claude langton should be hanged why because john harrison he hates claude langton he doesn't like claude langton what is the reality the reality is that john harrison he is engaged to miss molly dean but in the previous party where hercule poirot met john harrison and claude langton hercule poirot he found that the misunderstanding between claude langton and miss molly dean was over and they came closer and that's why john harrison he wanted to commit suicide and he wanted the put he wanted to put 
the charge of his murder on Claude Langton because John Harrison, he doesn't want that after his death, Claude Langton should marry a beautiful Miss Molly Dean. Now John Harrison, at last, he accepts the reality. Hercule Poirot, he further tells John Harrison that it was Claude Langton who told Hercule Poirot that he has purchased cyanide of potassium on John Harrison's request because it is John Harrison who has forced Claude Langton to purchase cyanide of potassium. Then Hercule Poirot, he tells John Harrison that I got a hint there that something is going in your mind. Then he further tells John Harrison that he told him the wrong time of uh, Claude Langton's coming. He tells John Harrison that by chance he met Claude Langton in the market and Claude Langton he informed Hercule Poirot that he will visit John Harrison's house at half past eight, means 8.30. And John Harrison, if you remember, he, he had informed Hercule Poirot that Claude Langton will come at 9 o'clock. So Hercule Poirot, he tells John Harrison that this was the second indication that something was going in his mind. And Hercule Poirot, he also tells, he also tells John Harrison that he exchanged the sachet of cyanide of potassium with the washing soda. That sachet of cyanide of potassium was in John Harrison's right pocket. But during the conversation with John Harrison, Hercule Poirot, he very cleverly replaced the sachet of cyanide of potassium with washing soda. Now, John Harrison, after coming to know the complete reality, he cries that Hercule Poirot should not have come there and he should not have uh, prevented John Harrison from committing suicide and, and putting the charge on Claude Langton. Hercule Poirot, he tells John Harrison that he likes John Harrison and that's why he doesn't want that his friend John Harrison should be called a murderer and that's why he has come to prevent the murder. Now, he, he asked John Harrison whether John Harrison is not a good man. At last, John Harrison, he realizes his mistake that he, he was going to commit a blunder. He was going to commit a big crime. And that's why he feels sorry to Hercule Poirot and Towards the end of this short story, he thanks Hercule Poirot for saving him, for saving him not to commit such a heinous crime. And with this note, this short story ends. So it's a very, uh, it's a, an excellent short story full of suspense and how with cleverness Hercule Poirot, he prevents the murder which was about to be committed. So through this short story, Agatha Christie, he also gives the masses that we, that we, she also gives the masses that we should think before we do anything. Sometimes in our hate, in our anger, we perform an action, but later on we repent throughout the life. Same was the case with John Harrison, that John Harrison in his hatred towards Claude Langton because he didn't want that Claude Langton should marry her fiancé Miss Molly Dean and that's why he wanted to kill Claude Langton. So in her anger, in her, so in his anger, in his hatred, John Harrison, he wanted to kill Claude Langton. But later on, when Hercule Poirot he makes him remind the uh, remind about his goodness, about his being a good man. Then John Harrison he realizes his mistake. So Masses is very clear that we should think twice before we do any act. 
so that's all about this short story i hope that you will like this short story if you do, if you like the short story don't forget to subscribe my channel oxbridge english and don't forget to like comment and share the video thanks for watching the lecture